Hey, it's Danny from Conscious Calisthenics here. So a lot of people ask me on a regular basis, what is in my protein smoothie that I have every single day? So first off, I'm gonna show you all the different things that I add to it that come in supplementation form and superfoods. And then once I've gone through all of these and explained them to you, then it will actually switch to me making the smoothie and adding all of the fruit-based ingredients and water that I add to it in addition to all of these different things. And before I go in to explaining everything that I use in it, I first wanna say, if you're someone that is just trying to maximize your protein intake, then you're not necessarily gonna to want to use all of these ingredients because not all of these are added to the smoothie just for giving me an abundance of protein. All of these different things work synergistically alongside each other to optimize my hormone production, my neurotransmitter production, my health holistically, my sex drive, my digestion, and so many other different amazing benefits that just make me feel the best every single day, and especially to give me an abundance of sustained energy throughout the day and optimize my sports performance as well. So if you're someone that wants to feel the best that you feel, I would recommend using all of these. And there will be links down below for UK, US and worldwide suppliers for these products. So the first thing we're gonna talk about is this. Most people wear this and this is cacao and it is organic cacao and it is of high, high quality because not all cacao is made equal. And yeah, this company just makes one of the best cacaos I know out there. And it's not one of the most highest priced ones either. And I always buy it in this big, big packaging because it just works out a lot more cost effective. And it is such an antioxidant rich food to just give you the best health holistically. It helps optimize your immune system. It provides you an abundance of magnesium, iron, and other micronutrients that are gonna give you the best heart health. I also find that it is amazing for giving me an abundance of energy throughout the day, but unlike coffee where it gives me loads of jittery effects and other side effects, this doesn't whatsoever, and it just makes the smoothie taste absolutely amazing. And when I first started consuming this, I started with a small amount, and as I started to get an acquired taste for it, because I didn't use a light chocolate at all, I then, yeah, now have a lot more. So I use a big heaping tablespoon of this cacao added to my smoothie. And then we have here, which I had this just before my smoothie. This is a CBD oil that has no THC in it whatsoever. And this is one of my favorite things that I have within my lifestyle to make me feel the best ever. I find that it reduces inflammation like crazy, so I recover a lot faster after intense training. I've also taken it many times just before training, and I find it increases my energy levels, my stamina, my endurance, and also my overall strength. And then the other benefits I get throughout my everyday life with consuming this just before my smoothie, because I don't add this to my smoothie because it is just a small amount of liquid. It could just get stuck to the outside of the blender that I'm making the smoothie in and then it's just going away so I'm not actually consuming it. So when I consume this, I put it under my tongue uh, around four to 10 drops, hold it there for around 60 seconds and then chase it down with water or with my smoothie. And also, it just helps me feel so calm and relaxed throughout my day without any of the negative effects of THC where you feel groggy and just lazy. This actually energizes you and just helped improve my overall cognitive function as well. And if I had to choose just a few of these things, this would be the number one thing that I would be consuming on an everyday basis because it just makes me feel absolutely amazing. And say that I haven't slept so well, I had some things like a lot of stress the day before, I find when I take this the next day, it seems to get rid of a lot of the negative effects that I've got from those things happening the previous day. And then the next thing we've got here, is the soy lecithin, which a lot of people say it has a negative effect on your estrogen levels, but my testosterone levels are really, really high. I've been consuming this for a very long time. And most of the scientific research out there that says soy is bad for you and has a negative effect on estrogen production within the body is normally made by the dairy, meat, or egg industry. 
and they do not like soy whatsoever because they stand to lose a lot of money when a lot more soy products are being sold. So they obviously don't want people to be consuming it whatsoever so they can maximize their profits. And there's also a lot of other research out there that isn't done by people that are involved in that industry that shows it has no effects whatsoever, negative at least, on increasing estrogen levels and lowering testosterone. So I would not be concerned about it whatsoever in case you are concerned about it. And I take two flat tablespoons of this a day in my smoothie. And this has a really nutty taste. And the reason why I take this is this is highly recommended by Dr. Noon Armand Ra, which promotes the one meal a day diet known as the Noon Armand Ra diet. He also recommends this as well. So quite a few of these ingredients are in his smoothie. And it is absolutely key to give your body an abundance of choline, which is key for having the best cognitive health and function and mental health and energy levels as well. And it's one of the best sources of choline in the world, whether you're vegan or not. And what I would like to say is, whether you're vegan or not, if you may even be a vegetarian or pescatarian or something like this, I recommend this to anyone, no matter what diet you're on, because it's just gonna make you feel the best that you can feel every single day. And then the next thing I have is the protein powder. And this is by Garden of Life. It is raw, which means it hasn't been heated up to high temperatures, because when you heat things up to high temperatures, it destroys a lot of the beneficial nutrients in it. It's also organic, and everything that's in this is sprouted, and it has been enzyme infused and probiotic infused as well, which means it's gonna optimize your digestion. It's gonna be really easy to digest and assimilate because a lot of people have digestive issues with a lot of protein powders, more specifically whey protein powders, but this, you will not get those issues with it. And because it has loads of sprouted foods in it, it's also very, very micronutrient rich, so very high in vitamins and minerals. So it's gonna help optimize your health holistically and your energy levels and just make you feel the best that you can possibly feel. And the amount of protein that is in this is 22 grams of protein. And as it says, it's also a very good source of vitamin D, vitamin K, zinc, manganese, selenium, molybdenum, vitamin E, and various other nutrients as well. And yeah, they have different flavors. This is the unflavored one, but I've also had the vanilla one, which tastes definitely a lot better. This doesn't taste bad, but obviously because it's not flavored, it's not gonna taste as flavor full. And there's also the chocolate flavor one, but I don't bother with that because I have my own chocolate to it in the form of actually healthy chocolate, unlike dairy chocolate bars that are just full of so much garbage that have a negative effect on your health holistically. And I also have the vanilla chai one, which I haven't had that one, but I've been told it is a very strong chai taste. So if you're someone that's not really into chai, I wouldn't recommend getting that one whatsoever. And I find that this blends up really well. It doesn't get all gritty whatsoever. It goes really, really smooth. And I really, really, really like the taste of this. I would say I prefer the vanilla one more, but I switch between them depending on how I'm feeling. And at the moment I'm on the unflavored one. And the next one of the highest protein sources in the world, which is spirulina. Weight for weight is one of the highest protein sources in the world. One tablespoon of this gives you around 10 grams of protein. So I always add 10 grams of this to it. So this helps boost up my protein intake. So this protein smoothie is well over 30 grams of protein in total. And it contains an abundance of chlorophyll, which is a very similar to our blood when you look at it molecularly. And it is just one of the most micronutrient rich foods in the world. And it's a very rich source of antioxidants, which is gonna help maximize your lifespan. It contributes to giving you amazing eye and brain health, cardiovascular health. If, so if you're someone that's worried about getting heart disease or having other heart issues, then this is going to really help with that. It also has amazing anti-aging benefits. It helps boost your immune system, your cellular health, your sex drive, like so many different things because it just contains so many different amazing nutrients within this, not just protein, all of those vitamins and minerals and antioxidants and various other things in there as well. And what I have to say is most spirulina comes from China, so it's full of heavy metals and radiation. 
So I make sure that I buy this one specifically, which is Californian grown, and it does not contain a lot of toxic substances because quite a few people can consume it, say they feel bad from it, and that can be why, because they're poisoning themselves at the same time, even though they're trying to do a good thing. And then the next thing we have is taurine, which I'm running out of this soon, but I've got some more on the way. And this amino acid is not present within a vegan diet. The body can produce it itself, but there's a lot of scientific research showing that by taking more in supplementation form, it optimizes ATP, which ATP is key for giving you an abundance of energy. It also helps get rid of excess estrogen in the body. So in turn, it's then gonna help boost testosterone, which when you're doing those things combined, it helps optimize your body fat percentage by reducing it, increasing your muscle mass. So if you're someone that's looking to lose more weight and get the body that you desire, then I really recommend this one. And if you're someone that works for long periods of time, this helps optimize your mental focus, your memory, and also it's very similar to creatine. It helps actually draw water to the muscles. So it's gonna give you a fuller look for your muscles, which then makes it easier for you to recover within a shorter period of time and actually train longer and optimize your overall sports performance. And I consume five grams of this added to my smoothie. And I've got to mention with this, I just add one scoop of this protein powder to it. And then we've got something there, which I'll talk about in a minute. I always add unrefined sea salt, about two pinches worth and quite big pinches worth of this. Because, yeah, I'm sure, as you know, when we're sweating and we're training, we are burning through sodium. And I find when I actually add this to my smoothie, it just gives me a better effect from all of these different things. And I find that if I'm not feeling so great mentally and physically, I take this and it's like a light bulb switches on. It just makes me feel so alive and just so good all around. And it also obviously helps make the smoothie taste a lot better as well and yeah it's just one of those things that's very very cheap that just has an abundance of different minerals like pretty much every single mineral in trace amounts so yeah if you're someone that suffers with not great energy levels or your mind doesn't work so well then i would highly recommend consuming this but not all sea salt is equal a lot of sea salt is actually refined so it means the beneficial nutrients have been stripped from it so make sure the one you're using is an unrefined sea salt. And if you don't know where to get it from, there will be links down below. And then we also have the BCAA supplement. We've got that pot that's gonna fall off. So we moved that there. And yeah, this protein powder does have BCAAs in it, which it says it has four grams of BCAAs when you look at the front of the packaging. But I also like to add a bit more BCAAs, which helps maximize my muscle growth benefits after doing very intense training. And that is literally the only reason that I consume this whatsoever. Because the three branched chain amino acids within this have been shown through many different scientific studies to help optimize muscle growth. And it also has a whole host of other benefits that's just gonna help you with your training routine. And there's also one other huge factor that I also forgot to mention as to why I consume these BCAAs. I've done a lot of research into Ray Pete's information. If you don't know about him, do some research up online. And from what I learned is so many people actually have an excess of serotonin within the body. So by taking this, the branched chain amino acids in it actually lower serotonin levels. And then what I do is take an L-tyrosine powdered supplement, which I haven't actually got it here because I forgot to get it out. And what the L-tyrosine does is raise dopamine within the body and within the mind, which is a key neurotransmitter for giving you a lot of motivation and drive and energy to do so many different things. And it helps optimize your sex drive and improve your overall sex life and just makes you feel that you just want to seize the day and do so much. So, so many people have too much serotonin and it gives you the opposite effects of those. So yeah, this will lower the serotonin. 
And then by taking that L-tyrosine, I can help optimize my dopamine production and lower serotonin, which just makes me feel the best that I can feel every single day. And I always take five grams of this added to my smoothie. And then this thing, which you're gonna think, what is this? This black looking tar like stuff, Shillet Jack, which comes from the earth, from ancient deposits. It's been around for a very long time. And it has been shown in many scientific studies by taking this daily for a period of time, it helps optimize serotonin production within the body. And I'm telling you, every time that I add this to a smoothie, when I haven't, I don't notice these effects. So I've done some testing with it. That it really makes my sex drive go really, really high very soon after consuming it. And yeah. That would make sense because it is increasing testosterone. When you increase testosterone, your sex drive is gonna go up. And again, just like many of these other things, it helps optimize my energy levels and my cognitive function and just makes me feel very alert and sharp and focused. And I first started off with 1.2 grams and now I'm up to 1.8 grams of this a day. But what I would say is most people will not want to add this to the smoothie. It has a very, very strong taste that a lot of people don't like. So for most people, I'd recommend not adding it to your smoothie and just adding it to water or adding it to your mouth and then just drinking it down or even adding it to some juice and drinking it down really quickly, maybe even holding your nose as well. So that's just something to be aware of. And last but not least, which is behind everything, is creatine. And most of you are aware of creatine and the only reason I take this is to give my muscles the most fullest look possible. And this has been one of the best things that I've ever taken to actually get those results and sustain them. And I always take five grams every day. I don't do creatine loading as a lot of people do in taking high doses. I don't cycle it whatsoever as well. And yeah, you don't get creatine within a vegan diet. Your body does produce it. But I found with my own experimentation that it gave me the benefits I was looking to to give me that fuller look with my muscles. I actually did a 30 day experiment early on in my journey with transforming my body, which I put a link for up above and what i have to say before i switch to putting the blender here and start making it is just all of these different things help optimize hormone production with all the different hormones in my body dhea estrogen progesterone testosterone and all of these other different hormones possible which just help give me the best physique that I possibly can and sustain a low body fat percentage all year round and have a very very ripped physique where my muscles are very, very well defined and visible. So now we are gonna go on to making the smoothie. What I've already done is put a small amount of water in, enough for it's almost covering the blade of the blender because I like my smoothies to be quite thick, but depending on how thick or thin you like your smoothie to be, then you add as much water as you want for your own personal preference. And I always use a commercial blender, not one of these Nutribullets or one of these other types of really bad blenders because it doesn't make the smoothie really, really smooth at all and just doesn't break things up very well whatsoever. Sometimes that happens, and then I turn it off and then turn it back on again so the boil pool forms again. Oh, and what I forgot to mention is I'd normally add cold water and cold bananas to it because if I don't, the smoothie, when it is finished being blended, will taste warm or even hot, which I do not like whatsoever. And yes, it is very, very green for obvious reasons. Spirulina is a very dark green, but it doesn't put me off whatsoever. And I don't actually like the taste of nori seaweed and these other seaweed things, but I find that this high quality spirulina doesn't taste like that horrible fishy seaweed taste whatsoever. So let's try it. Mm. Very strong chocolatey taste. Very, very smooth. A bit more watery than I'd normally have it, but because I was filming, I just added a bit too much water. I'm trying to talk to you and film at the same time. Mm. 
and I can definitely taste the protein powder in there. It gives it a nice thicker, creamier consistency. And yeah, I can taste the spirulina, but I like the taste of it. And the shiraz jack that's added to it. But to me, it tastes very, very sweet. And it's got a few different tastes from a few different things. And it's not anything that tastes to me horrible whatsoever. It tastes really, really amazing to me. And this is pretty much the smoothie I have every single day. And I wouldn't consume something unless I like the taste of it because yeah, a lot of people consume things that are good for you but don't taste too good. But I want the best of both worlds. So that is it for this smoothie video that I've shown you. And if you want to see the second protein smoothie that I normally consume later in the day, then let me know and make a video on that. It can sh I might say with that one that it contains way less ingredients in it. And the reason being is I don't need to have a lot of these ingredients twice within a day. So if you like the video or if you have any questions, Leave them down below and give us a thumbs up if you like the video. If you don't, give us a thumbs down. Please share this with other people. And don't forget to subscribe to me to receive a lot more videos from me on a weekly basis. So as always, stay fit, stay energetic, and go and get those gains. Peace.